quick tip before we start the video. Check out the description box down below. STDs and STIs, the two cousins that are completely different. Hello people, how are you doing? Welcome back. The topic that we want to talk about is both educational and awkwardly amusing. The difference between STDs and STIs. Yes, we're talking about those uninvited guests that crash your love club like a bad Tinder date. So let's dive into the world of differences. First things first, what are the meanings of these aberrations? STD stands for sexually transmitted disease and STI stands for sexually transmitted infection. Now, you might be thinking tomato, tomato, right? Well, not quite. STDs and STIs are like two cousins at a family reunion. Both equally embarrassing but with distinct personalities. STDs is the loud, unlovely cousin who everyone knows and whispers about. Did you hear about gonorrhea? He's back again and has brought his body, syphilis. Diseases show up with a full set of symptoms, just like the divas of the microbial world. They make sure you can't ignore them even if you try. They've got sores, rashes and all other stuff you'd expect in a medical heart case. We can say STDs are like the lead singer of a band, always in the spotlight, demanding attention. On the other hand, STIs are like the sneaky one who shows up unannounced, blends into the background and leaves without a trace, most of the time. They're the subtle ones, often showing up with minimal or no symptoms. An STI might tap you on the shoulder and whisper, Hey, I'm Chlamydia, just hanging out there. You might not notice me, but I'm definitely here. STIs can be counted as the bass player in the band. Although they're quiet, steady and sometimes easily overlooked, but they are definitely part of it. So, what is the difference between STD to STI in the medical community? Let's start with the difference. Disease sounds so final, so dramatically dangerous. It's like the sky is fallen. Infection sounds a bit more manageable. Oh, it's just an infection? No biggie, I have had infections before. I can handle this. It's all about perception, folks. It's like calling yourself a freelancer or temporarily between jobs. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge about health. Thanks! STIs are the early stages of what could become an STD if left untreated. If you have STI and don't find a way out of it, you probably get STD. The key here is early detection and treatment. This is what matters. Let's also take a moment to appreciate the modern lexicon of STIs, names like HPV and HSV. Sounds like they could be tech startups. They seem so classy. Meanwhile, the classic STDs like syphilis and gonorrhea sounds like characters from a Victorian novel. They're even hard to pronounce. But don't be fooled by the less alarming name. STIs are like ninjas, silent but potentially deadly. So the moral of the story is don't underestimate the power of an infection. It might make you quite interests, but the unwanted party favors are always there. Curious about how to avoid them? Easy, protection and regular checkups. Protections can guarantee no one will sneak in, but they can significantly reduce the risk. And regular checkups? Well, the doctors are the detectives who make sure none of those sneaky STIs are hiding in the shadows. In conclusion, STDs and STIs may seem like they're alike. Understanding their meanings can help you navigate the world of sexual health with a bit more clarity. So next time someone asks, STD or STI, what's the difference? Just confidently explain that it's all about the spotlight and symptoms. Because you've already learned it. Thanks for staying with us. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Be careful about STDs and STIs. Bye!